Hi, and welcome to the talk for the BA in Film and Digital Media. My name is Con Hollihan, and I am the course director on the program. And so I am going to take you through just some of the key aspects of the program, give you a little breakdown of the structure of the program, talk to you about things like subject choices, and indeed where you might go with your qualification once you are finished your BA in Film and Digital Media. So, um, first of all, just to give you an overview of what the program is. So the BA in Film and Digital Media is now coming into its fourth year of running, and it offers a, a unique combination of theory and practice across the areas of both film and digital media. So really it looks at the whole kind of range of areas of practice in contemporary media, um, moving from film to television to, to online content. And crucially, looking at both practical skills for creating that content and also giving you the kind of analytical skills to critically analyze and respond to that content. So the core focus of the program is on developing what we call your creative and critical skills. So again, that means both your ability to respond to a creative challenge, whether that's write a short screenplay or produce a short film or create some um, visual content um, for digital online consumption, or indeed also with your critical skills. So how can you analyze a film, how a film works, how a piece of media works? Um, and so we believe that these two skills go hand in hand and are crucial to developing you as someone who can both produce you know, innovative and exciting content, but also can respond to the media environment we live in uh, critically and constructively. Um, so key to providing those skills is small group teaching. So the program uh, is taught generally the, you, the mix of theory and practice classes. The theory classes are in slightly larger groups and the, but the practice classes are, are limited to 20 to 25 students. So you're getting hands-on uh, teaching and that really facilitates your skills development. Um, and as I said, the, the, the aim of the course is to give you a comprehensive grounding in the theory and history of film and digital media. So it is give, giving you, exposing you to, to how film and, and, and other media have developed over the last hundred years or so, and looking at the range of film and media that exists today, whether that's the range of films being produced across the world, or indeed the diversity of content that we encounter every day online. Um, and as we said, it, it provides practical skills in filmmaking, so literally how to turn on a camera and where to point it, uh, screenwriting, the, 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 the skills of constructing a narrative and digital development and design. So you will be in, introduced to the uh, Adobe suite of, of creative software uh, and learn things like digital design and, and digital animation. So uh, just a little there on the entry requirements. Um, the points for 2020-21 were 401. And a question I get asked a lot is about special entry requirements and whether there, for example, is a portfolio requirement, which there isn't. It's solely entry is on the basis of CAO points. So you're not expected to have any prior experience in filmmaking or creating digital content. Um, obviously, some people may well have made little films or, or indeed big films with uh, um, with their friends or or in their private life before coming to, to university, but that's not expected. Um, so just a little bit about the, the Houston School of Film and Digital Media. Uh, so it was established in 2003, so almost 20 years old now, under the patronage of the Houston family. And so the Houston family are one of the royalties of Hollywood cinema, uh, from Walter Houston, who is an actor, to, to, to John Houston, who is a director and screenwriter and actor himself, and his daughter, Angelica Houston, who um, we see in the picture here as the original Mrs. Brown, uh, now, of course, made famous uh, by Brendan O'Carroll. Um, and so the, the, the Houston family links the filmmaking here at NUI Galway into a long, tradition of, of, of film in, in Ireland and in the west of Ireland in particular, because John Huston um, spent 
quite some time in near Galway in the west of Ireland and um, you know his his own filmmaking was was deeply informed by his roots in in Ireland um, and many of the Houston graduates are now pursuing successful careers in the fields of film and media both both in Ireland and abroad including Will Collins who um, this is information slightly out of date of course he was the he was nominated for a, 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 an Oscar for um, Song of the Sea and has just been nominated for a second Oscar unfortunately they they lost they didn't win the award but they uh, were nominated for Wolf Walkers this year so Will has now been nominated for two Oscars and we've many other graduates pursuing careers across the fields of film and, and media uh, and Galway itself is really uh, at the heart of the film and media landscape in Ireland. It is a UNESCO city of film of which there are only a handful across the world, which are cities which have been recognized for their cinematic culture and history. It's also the home of the Irish Film Board, which um, funds filmmaking in Ireland. Um, and so there is within Ireland, within Galway, we like to think there's, there's a creative community that you can become part of um, st by studying here at the Houston School of Film. Um, the, the, the Houston, as well as the BA in Film and Digital Media, also has a number of postgraduate uh, programs. And we, through things like guests, speakers, series, we, we try and bring all our students together to form that creative community. And, and working in media, one of the, one of the key kind of um, things that, that you need and that we try and help you develop is that network of, of, of people that you, you work with and that you get to know and, and that you can then, those contacts that you can then take out into the, into the working world with you. Um, so just to give you a little bit about the breakdown of the course structure, uh, you may already know this, but um, so you will come in, if you take the BA in Film and Digital Media, you will come in um, with, and in the first year you would do that subject alongside two other subjects from the General Arts Programme. So what that would basically mean is four modules in the first year, two in each semester that are film and digital media, and two from those other two subjects. In the second year, then you would drop one of those subjects and you would take um, half, the, half of your, your, your modules would be film and digital media, and the other half would be from the other subject. So essentially six of each, three in each semester. In the third year then, and this is the unique aspect of the denominated degrees here at NUIG, is you would have a year that's solely devoted to uh, film and digital media. Um, so you, you, in that year, there are both modules on campus and there's also the op opportunity for work placement and study abroad, which I'll talk about in a little while. And then in the final year, you have, uh, again, back to the, your, your two subjects, film and digital media and your second subject. Um, so film and digital media is in group two of the, uh, the, the arts subjects. And really that's just for timetabling purposes um, because of the complexity of timetabling all those different subjects, certain subjects are grouped together. And that means basically you can't take any of the other subjects in this group because they would be timetabled at the same time as your, as your modules. Um, but you can take you know, basically any of the subjects across the, the, other, um, the other groups. And really it's about what interests you. I've suggested some potential combinations that we often see people taking, such as you know English. And again, you can see the connection between studying English, studying narrative, studying character, all those sorts of things, and how they might impact on the study of film and digital media and connect into each other in interesting ways. Similarly, studying Irish studies, and one of the modules we look at in particular is, is Irish cinema, but also obviously uh, as filmmakers or digital media content creators in Ireland, you are inherently um, kind of bound up with the context of Irish cultural production. So Irish studies looks at, at, at that wider Irish culture. Um, sociology and political studies, again, one of the things that film studies that the, and, and the, the study of film and, and digital media, uh, the analysis and the critical analysis of film and digital media looks at is how film and digital media connect to the wider societies that they are created in and that they exist in. So for example, at the moment, there's obviously a lot of work around and a lot of attention to uh, the relationship between film and media and depictions of race, for example, or how gender is um, represented in film and media. 
And so uh, the kinds of things that you might be looking at in, in sociology and political studies would very much connect into uh, those kinds of approaches to looking at film and media. Similarly, history, philosophy, again, these subjects both obviously are interesting and stand alone on their own right, but also will connect into the kinds of things that you're looking at on the BA in film and digital media in lots of interesting ways. So really it's up to you, whatever you're interested in, you, as long as it's not in that group, the same group with the BA film and digital media, you can study alongside it. So just to give you a little more information on the details on the breakdown of the program. So as I said, in year one, the, you would take two modules in each um, semester from film and digital media. And you can see here in the breakdown of the modules, you get a sense of exactly how that breakdown between film, digital media, theory, practice functions. So in the first semester we, there, we see the introduction to film studies, which is really introducing you to how film works. And so, and that this is a module taught by myself and my colleague, Tony Tracy. And this is, um, you know, one of the first things I always say to students is that everybody here is an expert in film because you are all watching films all the time. And so you inherently understand how films work. If a film wants to tell you that somebody's a bad guy, you understand it. Or if a film wants to tell you that this couple are in love, you understand it. But what we try and do in this module is to kind of work backwards and try and understand how you understand that. So how does a film tell us that this is a couple that are in love? What kinds of ways does it light the scene? What kind of ways does it shoot the scene? Um, how does camera movement, how does production design, how does sound contribute to the meaning that a film produces? So we're kind of pulling a film apart and, think, and trying to understand how it works. In semester one, you'll also do a module on digital design, which is much more practice focused. It's uh, introducing you to Adobe software such, um, such as Photoshop and how to use that to digitally um, manipulate images. Um, in semester two, you, you have introduction to visual culture, which again, takes you into that wider um, discussion of, of the history and, and um, sort of theories of visual culture. So how we understand images, how we understand visually Okay, and thinking about things like film and digital content within that wider context, the history of art, for example. And in semester two, then an introduction to filmmaking, which is, again, the, the introducing you to the, to the fundamentals of, of filmmaking, of, you know, from literally how, what the buttons on the camera do, to how to frame a shot, how to light a shot, how to, and, and introducing you to the fundamentals of editing. In semester two, then you have, um, you will take uh, three modules a semester in film and digital media, which breaks down into six hours lecture and screenings per week. So, and that this also applies in semester one in your introduction to film studies, there will be a screening each week associated with the lecture that you would be expected to, uh, to attend, usually uh, uh, on campus. Um, and so in this year, you, we have modules in film theory, which is picking up on some of the, the, the material you were looking at in the introduction to film studies and looking at things like, for example, um, how uh, gender is depicted in film or exploring the, the, the history of, of film exhibition, for example, looking at how people watch films and how that has changed over time. Um, a, there's a module in digital storytelling, which is a, like a mix of theory and practice um, and using uh, digital technologies to, to res respond to some of the, the, the theoretical ideas that you'd be looking at. So you will be learning to make video essays where you make a little, a little short little digital piece of digital content that is in itself addressing some of the ideas around digital technology that you'd be learning in the theory classes. Um, creative media design and development, again, is looking at um, Adobe software, such as um, Adobe uh, Illustrator and other Adobe. So again, taking you on to the next stage in, in learning um, the Adobe suite of creative software. European cinema, introducing you to the range of films outside of Hollywood cinema. Um, and. Uh, looking at the history of cinema production in Europe. Screenwriting is introducing you to the fundamentals of, of uh, writing a, a, 
a screenplay. So the fundamentals of character construction, narrative construction, etc. Things like the three act structure. And um, film practice two is then is picking up on the film and developing your the filmmaking skills that you learned in the first year. In year three, then year three, as I said, is a year that's solely devoted to film and digital media as a subject. So this is quite an exciting year um, where you get to really get 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 in there and, and, and play around and um, and explore the, 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 the subject. So it's divided into two parts. In the first semester, you have, you have modules on campus. In the second semester, you will either study abroad or do a work placement. Um, the, the first semester there you'll see, there's, there is a kind of a, a, high, a slightly larger emphasis on practice this year. Um, there will be, uh, there's a module on online media production, which is about producing content specifically for the online environment. So obviously nowadays there's huge amounts of content that are produced for the online, um, whether from, from companies producing online content to you know any of the the content that we consume daily on YouTube or any other video sharing site, um, film practice three again then is developing. So each year there is a film practice module that you can uh, within that it will be progressing your filmmaking skills. So again developing your skills around editing, around lighting, around shooting for documentary, shooting for fiction film, um, all of these areas increasing your skills each year. Uh, the practice and exploration of the creative arts is a module that looks at um, uh, different forms of creative arts from, from music to, to visual art to, to, to film. And um, this, the mod, this module involves uh, engaging with practitioners and, um, uh, and, and, and basically responding to, to a, 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 a series of, of of events that are, are put on over the semester um, on campus. Uh, the early and silent cinema is a, is a theoretical module. So the modules are, will, are, will, can change slightly from year to year. Early and silent cinema looks at early cinema um, up, to, up to the 1920s. Um, there, there may also be other theoretical modules that run in that year. Um, as we said, semester two, the study abroad or work placement. So, we have um, our international office has has um, links with a number of universities, both in the UK and in Europe and in the US, where you can go and study film and digital media um, subjects there. There is also a uh, the possibility of doing a work placement where um, you are placed with in a, a, a media or film um, company in Galway or nationally, uh, depending on, on what, what you are able to do. Uh, we have, so the, at the moment we have you know, a number of students out on media productions in publishing companies and various different companies in and around Galway for the most part. Um, and so we have connections with, with local industry and, and provide placements through that. Uh, some of the university partners there you can see Drexel University in Philadelphia, University of Southampton, Kent, so a lot of UK. Then there's there's a couple, there's one in Spain and one in France, which are through Spanish and through French. So if you were also taking Spanish or French as, as your other subject, you could you could do a placement there. Uh, Kiel is in Germany, but the but it's through um it is through uh, English, so so you don't need to speak German to study there. Um, and you also see a number of partners there in the US. Um, so then into year four and in year four, then again, in year four, um, the modules are all options. So you can shape your own uh, learning experience um, to a greater extent, depending on whether you want to focus on more practical modules or more theoretical modules, whether you're specifically interested in filmmaking or more interested in that digital content area. We see there's a module in managing culture and the arts, which is about literally, you know, the kind of um, business skills you need to work in, a, in an arts organization, like from, you know, basic accountancy skills to sort of scheduling and all the sorts of things that you need to work in an arts organization. Uh, film practice four, again, developing on the other film practice modules. Irish cinema, looking at, at the history of Irish cinema and looking at contemporary Irish film industry, 
documentary film and media, so a module specifically focusing on, on, um, on non-fiction. Um, television drama, a module, so again, focusing obviously television drama has, um, over the last you know, 15, 20 years, television drama has really exploded in terms of its significance. Whereas television used to be like the poor cousin to film, now some of the most interesting work takes place on television. And so we will be looking at, at the structure and, and modes of storytelling in television. Creative coding, again, is developing some of the skills you would have learned in those practical digital media modules earlier in the, in the program. Augmented and virtual reality is specifically looking at creating VR experiences or AOR experiences, which is a mix of of, um, of, of digital and real. Um, so something uh, like Pokemon Go would be an example of augmented reality. Gender and sexuality on screen, again, an example of a theoretical module. So looking at how film and television um, creates uh, our ideas around gender and sexuality. So what does all this add up to? As we said, the, the program aims to develop graduates with creative and critical skills that are necessary to prosper in today's highly flexible labor market. So obviously the, the skills that you are being taught here are aimed at uh, you know, people who want to work in the media industries. But those same skills about creativity and being able to critically respond to information are increasingly necessary across all industries. Increasingly, people work in ways that are constantly changing and have to, they have to creatively respond to unexpected shifts, to changes in work practices, all these kinds of things, all the time. It, it basically people, it's much, it's much rarer now for people to go in, do a job, work that job nine to five and stay in that job for extended period of time. Increasingly people are shifting between jobs and are the, what they do in the workplace is, is much more self-directed. And so the way that we organize this, this program is designed to give you those skills. Um, skills around like if you look at it in terms of values, knowledge and skills, values like critical thinking. Again, that is crucial to any arts degree that what, when you encounter information, you are able to assess it critically. You're able to assess its worth. You are able to assess its strengths and weaknesses. Um, and that applies to whether you're reading a newspaper article or whether you are in a company and are, 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 are interacting with clients. Um, creative entrepreneurship, again, Increasingly, particularly in the media industries, if you work in the media industry, increasingly you, you are an entrepreneur. You are not working for a company, but you are creating your own work. And so this, the, that's at the core of the values of this program, that it's giving you those skills to be creative and to be a self-starter, essentially, but also to work collaboratively because apart, more than anything else, work in media is about relationships because you to in order to produce good work you need to be able to work well with other people and so both through through group projects and through the ways that you are producing work throughout this program that collaborate those collaborative skills are emphasized you will be given the knowledge of film and media theory and history again i'm sure any of you interested in coming here already have a love of film and a love of of, of visual media but we're going to try and expand the, the areas of film and visual media that you are that you 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 can draw on, um, to the, whether that's looking at the history of Hollywood cinema, or looking at film that is produced around the world, looking at the knowledge of storytelling fundamentals. Again, how does storytelling work? How do films and how do other media tell stories? And understanding that the core of those structures. And the film and digital media production processes. Now, well, what is this? What are the steps in producing a piece of online content or in producing a film? The skills, then again, those skills of critical and reflective thinking, design thinking, which is a way of approaching problems. So, uh, particularly in third year, in one of your modules in third year, you're introduced to this, this idea of design thinking, which increasingly is, is an approach used again across industry where, uh, as to when, when you have some sort of need or problem, how do you respond to it? Film production skills. Um, again, obviously the nuts and bolts of, of, of making film, of shooting film, of, of editing film, digital design and development. Again, introducing to, the, to those industry standard um, softwares like the Adobe Creative Cloud 
that uh, giving you the fundamental skills that you can take and th those can be applied in a huge range of industries. Um, screenwriting fundamentals, again, the fundamentals of storytelling, whether that's in a short film or a, a feature film uh, or indeed a television drama and digital marketing. So, you know, the skills that you are um, learning um, obviously can be applied in, in that kind of media content creation, but also in, again, in a more com commercial environment. Um, um, so what career options will this give you? Well, as we said, it, it pre prepares you for a career in the broad field of creative industries. And the creative industries is a large and growing industry in Ireland, um, including film and television production, digital content creation, cultural administration. So like the, if we think about, you know, arts festivals or, or arts organizations more generally working in those, uh, screenwriting and digital marketing. And again, just to emphasize, you know, the, we see increasingly both international productions coming to Ireland to, 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 uh, to, 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 to create, um, you know, like, like Game of Thrones, um, uh, the, uh, and also a, a, a growing indigenous industry, local filmmakers, local media content creators, uh, and increasingly because of things like streaming platforms, that local content, and we see something like that with normal people can now have a global impact. And again, that core focus on creative entrepreneurship and critical thinking offers transferable skills beyond media. So beyond just the media, you can also um, go, it, it gives you skills that are valued across industry, but it also offers clear opportunities to pursue further study and research at postgraduate level. Um, and those include, you know, whether that there's an MA in digital media, uh, MA in film at, at Houston or, or further afield. Um, there is a whole range of postgraduate suites that you, that, that you can pursue on the back of this program. So there is the Houston nestled by the water. Um, and uh, so that's where, where you'll be spending some of your time, hopefully come September or whenever you are uh, beginning your university journey. For further information, you can go to our website, www.filmschool.ie, um, or contact myself, indeed, uh, Con Hollihan, and there you see my email address and phone number. Um, and if you, if you send me an email with any queries you have, I'll respond to you. Okay, thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you in person very soon, hopefully. Thanks.